Okay, awesome. So what we're going to do on today's call is we're going to set up our Facebook business manager. And this is where, where 100%, literally 100% of agents drop the ball is when they try to run a Facebook ad, they'll either just boost a post or they'll run an ad through the ads manager um, and have no tracking or no data collecting whatsoever from it. And that's because you have to set up your business manager. The business manager allows you to start tracking all the data from people that are watching your videos or, or, or clicking on your ads. It allows you to, to capture all the data to use to show other ads to. That's the business manager. So that's what we're going to set up today is the business manager. So to the very, very left, you're going to click on see more, that drop down, see more. Click on that, and then you should see um, ads manager right below it. So ads manager, yeah, perfect. So we'll click on ads manager and then over here, you may have, you may have the, um, yeah, you can click it. Uh, I accept. You may have um, the, um, the business manager set up, but it's just not, you may have it set up, but, but not set up. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to just kind of fill in the blanks. So very, very top left, click on those three lines and go to um, business settings. So business settings right here. Perfect. So again, you may have the business account set up, which you have two of them. They're just not set up, right? If that makes any sense. They're just not complete, I should say. So here, let's go with one of them. And it doesn't matter which one it is, but um, we're going to just go with one of them. So yeah, click on any of them. Okay, perfect. So so we'll do this one. So we're going to change the Byron Diaz at the top, in the top left, the name of it, we'll end up, we'll end up changing that. We're going to rename that to... Um, to to our, our username that we've been using for everything else. So let's start with, um, and we're going to work our way down on the left-hand side. So we're going to go from top to bottom on the left-hand side. So get away from the drop down there. Um, let's click on pages. So let's go down, click on pages, and just make sure that our page is um, is connected over here. So this is, yeah, this is the right page, right? By Byron Diaz, that's, that's, that's the page. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now bookmark it from here. So this becomes our first bookmark. So hit the star um, right in the top right. And then just name this one business settings. Take away the seven business settings and then folder. Hit the drop down on the folder and put it in that FB business manager. Perfect. This is bookmark number one. Awesome. Now we're going to go down on the left-hand side. We're going to go to ad account. So click on ad account. And um, we're going to create an ad account. So an ad account is really the credit card that Facebook charges for the ads. Um, that's really what that what what this is. So um, X that out real quick, cancel, and then click it again. And you're going to simply go with create a new ad account, and then just give it an ad account name and and go with the same name. We'll go with the same name for everything. So um, you put Realtor Byron D, right? That's what it was. Realtor Byron Byron D, perfect. And then um, time zone, time zone doesn't really really matter. It's kind of just yeah. Click it and see if you can just find yours. Um, but the time zone is really based on the time that your ad will go live or end. And that's not even really a big deal. So, but yeah, see if you can find yours. Yes. I'm going to go my business and then create. Okay. And then over here, you could do this part now, or you could do it later. Do you have his card on? Do you have his card? His. Um, I don't, but I can ask. No, it's all good. It's something you guys can add later. I'll, I'll, I'm recording this, so I'll, I'll show you here. Where, where so right here, you're going to connect his name to it. So Byron Diaz, click on the circle on the top left. And then to the right, full control. Manage ad account, full control. Just shade that gray to blue. The one at the bottom. Perfect. Assign. And that's it. Okay, cool. So, and all this stuff is a one-time thing. So this is going to seem like super overwhelming and super confusing to you right now. But don't worry about trying to master it. Um and really, it's a one-time thing. And, and and just always know that you'll always be able to get me on, on, on a call. So if you're stuck on something, we can schedule a call and we'll jump on together. So don't worry about trying to master this. Um, but you can add this later or you can just hit close. Or you can add payment or you can just hit close. So just hit close and we'll, we'll do it later. Just hit exit and that's fine. Okay, perfect. So now here's what you want to do now. Click on add assets. Let's see if there's anything to add right in the top uh, middle. Add assets. Oh, the middle Right, yeah. right. No, to the right. Add assets to the right. Sorry. <laughs> right here. Down. Uh, oh, right here. Sorry. Assets. And see if there's anything. Okay, nothing there. Okay, close. Cancel this. Okay, so now all you're going to do is bookmark this page. So hit the star in the top right. This is add accounts. Add accounts. And so in the future, like 
I'm going to be available for you guys whenever the heck you guys need, need anything on this stuff. So you can always, again, schedule a call whenever the heck you need me, add accounts. Um, and so with that being said, I kind of know, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't mean to freaking toot my own horn or, or sound conceited or anything, but I know freaking a lot about this damn platform, right? I've been running ads for a long time. I know, I know damn near everything about this damn platform. But every now and then I get stuck on something like every now and then I'll get stumped. I'm like, damn, I don't know what the heck's going on. You're going to have to reach out to Facebook every now and then something random will happen with your account in that in that case, in that event that you have to reach out to them. The first thing they want to know is what is your ad account ID number? And that's it at the top. The one one six six seven four zero. That's the ad account ID number. So that's why this is a bookmark, because this is that's important to know in the future. It's important to know what credit card is in the ad account you know, for, for sure. But then also it's, it's, it's important to know the ad ID number and that's, that's it at the top. Okay. So that's your ad account. So now to the left, let's keep moving to the left, bottom left. So now let's click on, click on Instagram accounts, um, Instagram accounts, make sure his Instagram is tied here. So go ahead and add his Instagram. Um, we'll just scroll down, click on connect. Perfect. We'll do that. And then, um, connect. Perfect. Continue. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna we're gonna add and here we're gonna simply name it the same. Um, Realtor Byron D. So this is the pixel. Pixel is simply a piece of code, like a like a a, a a string of letters, like numbers, letters, just a bunch of characters. And all it is 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 a piece of code that Facebook gives you. It's called a pixel that you put on a website. And that's what allows Facebook to start tracking who's on that website. So okay. We don't have a, a landing page or a web page just yet, so we'll just we'll just leave that part blank. Just hit continue, but we'll at least somewhat set it up so we can um, at least bookmark it. So um, go ahead and click on set up the pixel now. Set up the pixel now, and then manually add pixel code. Click on that one, and then click right here in the blue. Click and then scroll down. So here's what I want you to do. Also, turn on number two. Turn on what I'm going to have you do and then hit continue is you have it copied. So you just, and then hit, and then hit cancel. Perfect. Cancel. Okay, good. You have it copied. So what I want you to do is email yourself or email it to Byron or, or whatever, just email it and, and just name it Facebook pixel and just paste it in. Email yourself a copy as well, if you want, but just name it Facebook pixel. So in the future, if anyone builds a website for you guys, or even with your company, with his company website, Forward the pixel to them and say, hey, guys, would you mind putting my Facebook pixel on my website and see if they'll do it? Sometimes they'll do it. Sometimes they won't. But um, who are you guys with again? Who's, who's the broker? Next Home. Yeah, Next Home. Yeah, they, they, may, they may do it because, yeah, they may do it. So if anything, he'll know who to contact or maybe you know who to contact. But, but that's, that's, that, that's not even the most important because really you're not going to be even, but you're not even, you're not even going to be running ads to that website, but to have the pixel on it won't hurt. Like it won't hurt, but it's not even really needed, but you can always do that if you wanted to. There's the copy, the pixel in your email. So here add people. So we're going to add Byron. So click on add people to the right or right there. Yeah. Add people, click his name and then full control. Perfect. And then assign and then, um, and then click on add assets at the top, add assets and see if there's anything to add. Perfect. So that's the ad account. So go ahead and check that circle. That's the ad account and then add. So all we're doing here, all we did there is we connected the pixel to the ad account and we connected the pixel to Byron. That's all we did there. Um, and that's a one-time thing. You won't do that again. And then to the left, to the left, brand safety, brand safety is where you, um, yeah, go down is where you would integrate your domain. So I don't know if Byron bought the domain yet, but whenever he does, we'll- um, We had a question about that. So when I went to the website, um... Let me just have you put it here just, just so it's already here. And then we'll worry about the GoDaddy purchasing later, but go ahead and type it in there. Just the domain, not the www. Yeah, perfect. Just the domain. And then click on add. So at least it'll be here. It'll be idling. Um, dot com. Oh, sorry. He said. Yeah. 
Oh, well, he said that, yeah, he, um. Yeah, what? Uh, so I asked him, like, if the only email he has or uses is just the, the Gmail, or he has one under next home, he said, yeah. Okay. But, um, I mean, I don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Just click add right here. Yeah, we'll get we'll worry about the email later. So here we'll just leave it at it as is. This is this is um, pending. We'll get back to this. We'll get back to this part when we get the domain. Okay, cool. So now business info to the left. Click on business info, and then um, we'll make sure that all this information is filled out down here at the very bottom, bottom left, business info, and then right here at the top, we're gonna start with the top. Click on edit, and then just simply um. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Realtor Byron D right here at the top. Business name. We're gonna go with the same name for all, and then um, and then the primary page. Go ahead and type. Wait, wait. Go ahead and type in his name right there. Primary page. Type it in, and you'll see the drop down. Go with the drop down. So there's the drop down. Perfect. Save. Awesome. Now refresh this page. Business name is not allowed. Okay, so it's not allowed because it's all one word. You'll have to space it out. So click on edit again, and then just space out. Realtor Byron. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, you have to just space it out. And then primary page, do the primary page again. Perfect. And then there, and then save. Okay, cool. And then now, um, business name not allowed. Your name, if you chose, isn't valid. Consider using Realtor Byron D. Um, yeah, capital, yeah, capital, capital R. So do the, do the edit again. Do capital R, capital B, capital D. This thing is so finicky. Yeah, Realtor Byron D, capital D. Perfect. And then primary page. And that, that should be good. Okay, cool. So now, now um, try refreshing this page. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, refresh the page. And now you'll see his profile picture. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. We're good. Okay, so now business details, edit. We're going to put in um, legal business name. Go ahead and put, um, put, put whatever, put, maybe put his, his actual name, Byron Diaz. Yeah, put in capital B, capital D. So, um, and and then the office address, and then the website, and no tax ID is needed. I'm gonna edit the email. This is what's super important: is making sure that this email is is verified. So, to the very right, edit on my info the name. To the right, click on edit, and then just go ahead and put in his email right there, or any, or yeah, put in his email, and then. Can you check that email? Are you able to, do you have access to that email? Whatever email you're going to put here? I don't know, but I can um, ask him. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> yeah, go ahead and put it in and then, and then text them right away and say, Hey man, check your email. You need to click on it. Say check for email from Facebook, check all folders. Cause sometimes it lands in spam. So yeah, just go ahead and put it and then just tell him that he needs to click on it and, um, and click on the link in the email. That's super, super important. We're good here. Now click on the three lines in the top left and let's go to, um, let's go to ads manager, ads manager. And we're going to bookmark this over here as well. So this is the new ad account. So right here in the top left, click on no. Oh, sorry. Where? Yeah. Um, actually un unstart real quick. Actually, no, you can leave it star, but, but hit the star again. Just rename it. It's ads manager, just ads manager. Perfect. So delete all that. Yeah, just ads manager. And then right there in the top right, just click, I mean, sorry, top left, just click no. Yeah, ads manager done. And then click no right here in the top left. So so this is, yeah, click no, no. Right here, no, okay. So, so this is the new ad account. This is, this is the new ads manager where ads are gonna be ran from. So, and you can tell because we named it Realtor Byron D right at the top left, right? Yeah. So, so, so this is bookmarked, that's the ads manager. Now click the three lines to the left and let's go to um, let's go to billing. We'll go to billing, yeah, billing. And then over here, click on payment settings in the top right and just, um, yeah, payment settings. And then you're gonna bookmark this page right here. So later on, either you or, or him, he, you guys can come, this is billing, so name it billing. You can always come back here and add the payment method. Okay, and then and then scroll down a little bit. Yeah, this this business info right here. Edit. Go ahead and ed hit that edit, and and let's fill out this right here. So business name, add a name, business name, address, add the same address. And and this add, make that capital R space capital B, 
yeah, yeah, do it like you did the other the other one. Perfect. And then yes, right? Yes, Ellen, yes, and then save. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. So we're good there. Okay, perfect. That's a bookmark. Okay, good. So now three lines to the left, and let's go to let's go to audiences. We just have a couple more bookmarks. Audiences, and then let's create his first audience. So click on the blue one, create a custom audience. And then, and so here, here is where all the different data points are that you can create an audience around. So for example, people that are clicking on a website, I can literally create an audience around everyone who clicked on a website, put them in an audience and show them another ad. So that's what this is. So, so, so really in your guys' business, you'll only be doing website whenever we do get some type of landing page mm -hmm. um, or, or a video. If you guys are doing videos, that's when you want to start tracking those who are actually watching it. So if you put out a one minute video, you can create an audience around those who watch 15 seconds of it, around those who watch 30 seconds of it, put them in an audience and show them another ad. That's what this is right here. So, so in this case, we don't have a website just yet. We don't have a, any videos just yet. So we'll just create a, an audience around Facebook page. Let's do Facebook page. Um, no, not Instagram account. We'll do Facebook page. Yeah. And then click next. And here we're going to simply just create an audience around right there where it says events, hit that drop down and come, come down to um, the fourth one, people who engaged with any post or ad. So anyone who engaged with any post or ad will be in this audience, but take the retention, the 365, bring that down to 30. So anyone who is engaged with a post or ad within the past 30 days are in this, in this audience. And then just audience name, name it the same. People who engaged with any post or ad. And then create. Over here to the, to the top right. Top right, click on that drop down. Realtor buyer and D. And then go to the top one. Realtor buyer and D. Yeah, go to that one. Perfect. And then now over here, we're going to hover over that triangle to the left. Just hover over that triangle and click on, um, actually the other triangle to the very, very left. <clears throat> right below the blue circle this one, okay. and go to custom conversions. Perfect. Bookmark it from here and we're good. So now custom conversions, name it custom conversion, not events manager. So custom conversions um, or custom conversion. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, so now moving forward, moving forward, all we're doing is filling in these bookmarks. So look at your folder now. You have, um, what do you have in the folder? We have, yeah, click on the folder. So we have business settings, ad accounts, ads manager, billing, custom audiences, custom conversion. And then we, we're missing one. We're missing, um, go back, we're missing pixel. So, okay, perfect. So go back to the events manager tab. And then, and then the click on, click on that, um, that, the triangle to the left, but that little circle above it, that little clock, the overview, click on the overview. Okay, perfect. And yeah, click on the overview. Try clicking on connect data sources, the green one. Click on that one at the top, connect. Yeah, click on that, see what that, okay, cool. This is, yeah, okay, and then cancel. Perfect, so just bookmark it from, from here and name it pixel. So this is your pixel, P-I-X-E-L, pixel. Those are the seven bookmarks. Okay. So, so look at the, so, so, so business settings, ad accounts, ads manager, building custom audiences, custom conversion and pixels. So moving forward, moving forward, we'd be running ads out of the ads manager. The billing is our credit card, right? Knowing where our balance is at, knowing what credit card is on file, billing. Custom audiences are all different audiences that we're creating around our ads, people who clicked on the ad, people who watched a video, people who clicked and went to a website, that's all custom audiences. And then, and then you have, and then you have the pixel that would go on a website, whatever website we're going to run an ad to the pixel would go on that website. And then the custom conversion would be based on that website as well. So whatever web page you're running ads to, that's the custom conversion. Mm -hmm. So moving forward, we'll just now be filling in kind of those, those bookmarks. And then our very next call, our third call, our very next call is when we'll go into the ads manager and run a like ad. That'll be our first Facebook ad. So 
Any questions on that whatsoever? Um, no, just trying to retain it all. <laughs> <Yeah. Right. laughs> Don't worry about it. Like you'll learn it eventually if, yeah. if you put more time in this. But again, that's why you guys have me. So you'll always be able to lean back and, and depend on me or, or count on me to, to help you with all this stuff. Okay. So, but that's, that's really the, the top seven that we'll focus on from this point on. Okay.